Welcome to Travel with Corlitz. We are a family of three exploring the world. I'm Zane, this is my husband Michael and our daughter Julia. In this series, we are spending a month living La Dolce Vita in the beautiful Italy. We've now driven further out to the nearby mountains and we've come across a medieval village which we're going to go and explore now. It sits on top of a hill and has a 12th century castle. So we're going to go have a look around it now. Oh, the usual stairs. So we have come to the town of Fostinovo. It's really, really beautiful here. Very calm, peaceful and really relaxing. And this town is from medieval times. The castle that sits atop the hill is from the 12th century. It looks like what you get in the nearby mountains. We are in the mountains where you get all of these granite um, from. I think all the, it's marble, isn't it? Marble. Yeah, unfortunately, in winter time, the uh, marble caves are closed. Um, where they excavate all the marble from. They're also only open in the summer months, which would have been quite awesome to see. You can see these big blocks of marble. The floor is also made out of marble-looking tile. There are lots of churches here. There's one, what, about 20 meters? Then another one. And I think there's another one there. And right next to it is another church. Is that another church there? I love these little streets, especially in a sleepy town like this. Oh, there we are. I think we've come to the castle. All right, let's go and have a look inside. I think you probably have to pay entrance fee. Tickets, five euros each. Thought that looks like you put Face. your head in there. Yeah. Oh, oh God. God. Yeah, you would not want to live here. No, that's why they call it the medieval times. Wow. Yeah, horrifying, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the castle itself is the castle itself is closed. Reception is closed and the rest of it is closed. They left a few bits open, which is really good. He's now following us. <laughs> He's joined our walk. He wants to walk with Julia. Well, that is a stunning view. This is a very pretty and sleepy little village. And considering how busy all the other places were, even on a weekday, this is now the weekend, it's Saturday, and it's completely quiet. Probably because it's in the mountains, maybe, and the other ones are on the coast. Must be that, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's get us a big marble block. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at those blocks over there. <laughs> Look at them there. Yeah. Statues. Statues everywhere. <laughs> yeah, they're everywhere. Look at all of this. These mountains are just carved up. All of them. I mean, look, they just wow. use these marble blocks at the side of the road. <laughs> You're sure we haven't just driven into the mine? I don't know if we're allowed to drive here. The tunnels seem very narrow and dark. Mm. Coming quite interesting. Mm, very interesting road. It was the one we were looking up at down yep. there. This cannot be right. We're probably travelling along the. Yeah, no, that's say one way. That's saying one way. Turn right. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Continue on by Let's call this road Farty Screety. <laughs> Hill. Hmm. 
we have just driven to the area in the, in the Apennine Alps that contains quarries of marble. And all around us are mountains that marble is carved out of. These, all of these mountains are just carved up and with blocks of marble taken from them. And there's marble everywhere. On this whole road as we were driving, there were just blocks of marble and marble statues all along it. I mean, it looks surreal, actually. It is quite stunning, bizarrely. That's where the cutting is. Oh, yes! The, the, the cutter. See that big blade there, Julia? And then yeah, they must push the, the marble mm. and it cuts it. Yeah. And that must clean it, maybe? Yeah. It's the gift shop, this. Oh, let's get this chair. <laughs> that that go nicely. In our food. car. <laughs> yeah, come on, Julia, you help me. No! <laughs> How about the statue? No! Oh, we must get a, we must get a uh, souvenir over here. The marble tours aren't running in winter, unfortunately, because it would have been so cool to drive up to the um, uh, where the mountain is really carved up and go into one of the caves that they're digging out. out. But unfortunately, it's only open in summertime. Summertime, this is where you would be booking the tickets. They've even made the floor and the chair out of marble. You can see the quarry here. I mean, I am standing at the um, at a gate, so I can't go any further. Wow, it is so smooth. That's incredible. And that's obviously a lot more rough texture. And that's still not been polished, so it's it's very very smooth once they polish it, isn't it? Because then they polish it. When you see it in kitchens and that, it's very very smooth. <laughs> that must be the leftover. That must be fine, deadly. Oh. Mm. Yuck. Very, very difficult. Yeah, when this is operating, it must be, you know, this whole area must be caked in the dust of it. Because look at it, it's all here. There is, yeah. And look at the slabs of marble here. There's just loads of them. We have just stopped down the road from the quarry and we're going to go and get some something to drink in this cafe. We've now got our drinks. I've got some wine. Michael's got the tiniest <laughs> coffee ever. Mm. That's a shot. <laughs> oh my Wow, that's nice, and but it's strong. And our chairs are made of marble. Yeah. The table is made of marble. And we bought this um, cutting cheese cutting board and it blends in with the table. I don't, know, I don't know how your butts are dealing with the coldness of the chairs. Well, don't put too yeah. much in my glass in case you It's don't very drink cold it. on the, on the bum. This is my first... Um, Glass of wine in Italy, actually. True. We haven't really been drinking wine here, have we? Oh, it's nice. It is nice. This is our view here.